Hey everybody, it's Steve at Thousand Year Home. So today I'm going to be working on the uh, bathroom. But a uh, funny thing about Texas, I we went from 100 degree weather to now, right now it's 39. Uh, uh, to, uh, like three days ago it was 82. It was 82 at this same time of day. I mean, I, I got like maybe seven days of anything that would be considered... Uh, nice weather for working uh i went from super hot like and inside of the containers of course uh i had measured upwards of 140 right once uh but it's certainly they were 110 to 130 the entire all the summer all my work time i was i was doing uh like uh nuclear jumpers where i'd come in and i work for 15 minutes and i'd overheat and go out and cool back down and and now uh it's cold <laughs> I'm like, come on! I don't like the cold. I, I don't like the cold. I'm a little, uh, I, I am a little bit of a, uh, a timid when it comes to the cold. Anyway, long story short, I, here I am inside. I'm going to go ahead and light up my uh, uh, um, my propane heater in here. Let me. So, I know some people have bought little buddies and they've gotten good experience out of little buddies. The very first little buddy I bought was crap and died within a week of being used. And I was very disappointed in it, very disappointed. And it was expensive. So anyway, now I have one of these uh, simple salamanders that bolt right on the top. It's It's been working just fine. Let me fire it up here. See if I can do this one-handed. So we'll crack the top. Got that going. We'll go ahead and off. I'll turn it on. All right, and then I don't have to fire up both sides. I can pick one side. So let's let's pick one side right now. Turn this side on. All right. All right. Anyway, this uh, particular model, I'll put a link in. I forget what it is. I'm I, I'm not affiliated with it or anything, but this is the one that you want. It's a lot more simple. So I push it and press it and hold it in and light it right there. I can light it on both sides. Let me let me put you on a little cradle and go ahead and light that bad boy. All right. Feel me? Oh, good. I'm just going to stick my flame right through there and count. I think it's 10 seconds or 30 seconds. I got to make the thermal couple hot. That's what I got to make. But this bad boy will get things warm here. Let me read the instructions, see if it tells me how many seconds I'm supposed to press this button. Oh, that's a warnings. All right, it says uh, check it for leaks, of course. 30 seconds, it says it wants me to hold this there. I don't know. You're all watching. Let's see if, how close to 30 seconds I am. All right, I'm gonna let go of it. Is it on? Hey, that's a thermal couple that will work. And that was the problem with the little buddy. After a while, like within three, a week, the thermal couple no longer worked. It infuriated me. Then I went online and it was a common thing. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. Oh, that's nice and toasty. I don't know what the temperature is in here. Let's see if I've got my, I don't see my uh, thermometer anywhere. But anyway, if I wanted to extra heat it, I would go ahead and start that side too. And um, I press, but the valve is shut unless the thermocouple gets enough heat. Then it causes a little piezoelectric reaction, which opens the valve and lets the gas roll through. So this one's shut, right? It, because it's not getting any, or no piezoelectric reaction. Oh, that heat is yummy, all 